included with the LER100, our commercial laser, is the laser itself, a magnetic ceiling card, the receiver, receiver bracket, a remote control, and an aluminum wall mount for doing suspended ceilings. This laser right here is our premium rotating laser designed for commercial job sites. It's called the LAR100. It means laser automatic rotator. This laser here is designed to go over a thousand foot range. And uh, I'm going to show you a few things about the keypad here. First of all, built into the laser is a roll cage that is also an elevator. So I'm going to keep it up so I can show you the button function on top here. We're going to fire this laser up here. Turns about one and a half times. And then right now, it's actually self-leveling on the inside. As soon as this laser spins, it's level. Now, the whole time that we're talking here, though, there's a Y light on here that's blinking. What, that la what the laser is telling us right now is that it's giving us about 30 seconds to get its position where we want it. After that 30 seconds is up, that light's going to go off. Then this laser in what we call high alert. And the reason why we want high alert is if we were on a big job site and we were far away from this laser, and somebody were to walk by and accidentally kick the tripod, this laser is going to tell us because it's going to shut down completely. It's not going to turn back on. So as soon as that laser light goes off, I'll show you that. So right now, the Y light went off. What happened is this laser locked into high alert. And it's a default setting. Every time you turn this laser on, it wants to go into high alert. So like I was saying before, if somebody were to come by and kick the tripod, you can see that the laser actually drops down lower, and this laser shut down. It's not going to turn back on. So in order to use this laser, we actually have to reset it. If we don't want to use the uh, high alert mode, if we're working in conditions where the floor bounces or this tractor is going by and vibrating the ground, all we have to do is push the Y button, and now we're in automatic level. Now if the laser gets bumped, it will re-level itself and turn back on again. Now the first application we're going to show you is doing plumb, which is one of the most common applications for using a laser in, in uh, commercial industry. So Dan and I are going to show you how to set up a laser to build a demising wall across this room. So what we're going to do is we're going to set it on the ground, and when we turn it on, this laser knows that we want to go plumb. So there's not an extra button that we need to push that says go plumb. So as soon as this laser spins, it's ready to go. Now what I like to do, because we have this roll cage around our laser, is I like to extend the laser out so that I can get at it pretty easy. Now when we go to line it up, a laser with the chalk line on the ground, with our lasers, you can grab the head and spin it. It's not going to hurt the laser. Because what we need to do is we need to line up the laser centered on that, la on that chalk line. It's absolutely critical that you use the center of the laser beam. So now that the laser is spinning, the laser is plumb. Now the hard part about doing a rotating laser is getting the rest of the laser plane to get lined up with the, with the chalk line. So what Dan and I are going to do is we're going to show you the old way. The old way is there's one guy down on this end by the laser, and there's another guy on the other end with a laser reflector card. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold one of the lines on the chalk line, and I'm going to tell Dan which way to turn the laser. So Dan, in order to line up, go ahead and move it that way half of an inch. And that's okay. Now what Dan did is he tried to move it a half of an inch, but he, he moved it about three inches too far. Now keep in mind, Dan and I are about 15 feet apart. And when I say to move the laser towards me a half of an inch, and he moves it just a little bit, it moves a lot. Just imagine at 100 feet, if he moved it a little bit, it moves a lot more. So try to get it a little bit closer, and I'm going to show you the new way. Come, come to me in about two inches. All right. Now, what we've done is we've developed an easier way of doing it. This is a laser receiver like we've showed you with other lasers. These receivers can also be used inside vertically. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take this black mark here, and I'm going to put it on the chalk line. Now, what Dan would normally do is he would adjust that laser until he gets an even tone. But now with our laser, he can do it with a remote. So what he's going to do is on the bottom of the remote, there's two buttons. 
He wants that laser to move to the left, so he's going to push the arrow button that's aimed to the left and just adjust it until you get an even tone. Perfect. What he did is he actually steered the laser plane over and locked it onto our line. Now we're ready to build our wall. I want to show you another application that you can use the LER-100 on. The LER-100 is a commercial-based laser, and one of the biggest applications in commercial job sites is suspended ceilings. This laser is designed to do it. With the laser included in the box is a wall mount system. It's made out of aluminum, it's durable, compact, and really easy to use. It has a clamp up on top. It simply clamps to your first piece of wall angle and locks down. On the bottom of it is an adjustment here that I'm going to show you how to use. The next thing we do is we mount the laser on top of it, much like a tripod. And the next thing that I like to do is I like to adjust the top of the laser just above the handlebars there. That way when the laser spins, it doesn't get blocked by the handles at all. So the next thing I do is I turn it on. Now the laser is going to self-level on its own. In the kit, there's also a magnetic sealing card. This card is designed to do grid sealings with. So the next thing we do is we take our magnetic sealing card and we put it on a wall angle next to the laser. What we're going to do is we're going to line up the laser two inches below the grid. The line on the card right here is two inches. So I'm going to take the adjustment on the bottom of the wall mount and I'm going to raise the laser until that laser line is even with the white line then I know I'm two inches below. The next thing I would do is grab another piece of wall angle, move on down the wall, stick the card to the wall angle, raise and lower the wall angle until the red line hits the white line and it's level with the laser. Continue that process all the way around the room until all the wall angle is up and we're ready to put our grid in. We follow the same process with our grid. We connect the magnetic card to our mains. We raise and lower it until the white line and red line meet up, twist our wire, and we finish the ceiling. This button here that says manual, the X button, what this button means is if we, push this, if we turn this on, the laser is no longer a, a level. We can manipulate it at any angle we want, and the laser will still spin. The last button over here is the Z button. What the Z button does, it does incline. This laser is designed to do incline uh, up a one axis. It'll tilt down five degrees or up five degrees for a total of 10 degrees. What that works great for is five degrees is equal to 112. 112 means a drop of one inch over 12 inches, which just happens to be the same as the code for a handicap ramp. Now, I told you earlier that this laser is designed to work on a commercial job site. Well, every store, every school, every hotel, every public place has to be ADA compliant, American Disabilities Act. And the code for handicap ramps is it can't exceed 112. This laser does five degrees or 112 on incline. So it's great for doing handicap ramps. So what I'm going to show you now is how that works. Whenever we do an incline on anything, we need to mark on the wall that we're working on what level is. So right now the laser is spinning, and I'm going to mark level. Now, if I was 10 feet away and I wanted to, and I wanted to do a slope of 112, I'd make a mark on the wall at 2 and a quarter inches. So that's what I'm going to do. Now, when I steer that laser down to two and a quarter inches, I know that I'm in a slope of 112. So now all I do is I push the Z button, and on the remote right here, there's two buttons on the bottom that have little arrows on them. There's an up arrow and a down arrow, and that refers to the front of the laser. So right now, I'm going to push the down button and move the laser down until I hit my second mark. There, now I'm on my second mark. The laser is now dialed into a quarter inch per foot.